you're making me laugh, dog. And she's like, oh, but I don't like the angles he's hitting you. Like, come on. Tell him something. That's what a girl be, dog. Like, we're taking selfies and shit. That's what she be. But anyways, all right, cool. Let's go. We're good. My name is Eric Romero. I go by Chubbs. I'm based out of Pharaoh's Inc. out of Santa Ana, California. It's in Orange County. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to do some script. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's just something that I picked up uh, over the years. So I picked up this little graph book that's really helped me out doing script. Uh, I picked this up when I was laying around my house. I think it's my mom's. All right, guys. So I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, how to draw script. And then we're gonna do a follow-up on how to tattoo script. You don't need nothing fancy, crazy, any, anything around the house will help out. All you need is just some line paper. I would prefer you guys using graph paper because that's the best thing for you to learn. It's gonna teach you how to do, uh, keep the script uh, thick, thin, and balanced. Those are the keys you need to do, pull out clean script is balance and thick thinness. So I'll prefer you guys using graph paper. If not, some line paper will be fine. This is a little uh, red pencil I stole from my nephew and a pencil sharpener I just stole from this little kid in the back right now. Mm. But, um, all right, we're gonna get started. Right. The word that I'm gonna do today is tattoo. It's just the word that just tattoo. I'm gonna show you guys going how to do it, how I do it. No, I'm not perfect or anything like that, but you guys can learn from me and do your own thing. But this is how I do my script and how I get down. All right, so this is how I do uh, my script. I always go based off graph paper. It's always, it's, for me, it's just worked over the years good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna outline uh, some of these lines. That's gonna be, when you're doing script, you want it to be balanced. From the top to the bottom the only one that's the only uh letter that's not going to be balanced is the first letter so what we're going to do is just draw two lines all right guys so i drew out two lines right here and when you're doing script you got to be balanced when you're doing it so i'm just going to start doing the script now right now i'm just going to do the base of it not too, too crazy just something simple for right now Remember, keep it into the lines. And bring it up. I'm gonna keep it inside the lines. You got a tattoo right there. Now that's just the base of it. You can go more fancy if you want. I'm just showing you breaking down the basics for me. What what uh, what works for me over the years. This is how I do my tattoo work too. So now I'm gonna do a follow up right here on the bottom. You can make it as fancy as you want. Well, now this is just this is my writing. This is what I do for a living. Now that's just the base of it. So now what what we're gonna do now is once you got the base down. And then you're gonna you're gonna go back over. It, you're gonna make it thick. Scripts. It's it's all about thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. Right here, I went over one pass. Single, nothing fancy, just a regular pencil. So now I'm gonna make it thick. All right. So we're gonna go back to the whole thick, thin. When I'm doing my script, I do the base first, and then I go back over it and make it thick, and then thin, thick, thin. It's all about where you make it thick at, where you make it thin at. A lot of people, they make their script thick, 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 and then they go thin, thin, thin. That makes no sense to me. But for me, you gotta go thick, thin, thick, thin, and it's all about balance. All right, so now I'm gonna go back over the A. So that's just the base of it. So all you wanna do is bring it down, and they're gonna make it thick. Let's go back over it like maybe once, twice, ah, maybe like five times, and then, I'm still on the A. So if you see how I just did that, I made it I made it thick and then thin and then thick. So then same thing goes for the T's. We're gonna make it thick. Make that thick. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're not gonna get it down 
uh, for those that don't know how to do script, you're never going to get down the, the first time, the second time. Um, you just got to keep practicing. Um, that took me maybe about a good few months to actually do some really clean writing when I started uh, maybe about 10 years ago. So just keep practicing. Don't even if your script doesn't look good or anything like that. Um, or if you like my script, you can copy it and just do you add your own flavor to it, add your own twist to it. I apologize about the my sniffles. I got a runny nose right now. Real clean, simple, you know what I mean? That's why I use graph paper, if y'all can see it. Um, you see how I kept it in between the lines and I made thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. Um, you can add a lot more detail to it. All right, guys, so now that you guys got the, the breakdown on how I do it, I'm gonna do another one for you guys so you guys can see how how I do it. So again, I use graph paper. When with graph paper, all you wanna do is just outline, just a simple outline. I'm gonna keep it really basic for you guys. This is how I do my script. So once you got the outline, that's where you're gonna uh, you're gonna keep it all balanced. Again, balance. So, all right, here it goes. I'm gonna keep it real simple for this one. On this one. So on the T, I'm gonna go down. Make it a little loopy. And then for this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. And then the T, and then the A. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so we got tattoo down. Now I made I made a couple of, uh, adjustments. I, again, I do that with all, all my writing. Um, I try to switch it up just a little bit here and there. Uh, but again, once you got the base down, once you got your letters down, then you can start doing the thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. So I'm gonna go over the T. I'll make the T thick. I'm gonna go up and down a few times. Hook this at the end. Um, and for those that want to know how to tattoo this, I will do the exact same thing with the needle. Um, uh, my Instagram, I got a bunch of uh, tattoos I've done in writing. What I do is, is the same way I'm drawing it on, it's the exact same way how I tattoo it. If this is the needle, it'll be the exact same thing on. You do the base, and then I go back and forth with the needle about four or five times just like i just did that right now so we're gonna do the same thing for this side if it was a tattoo machine i'll be doing it the exact same way um it's not really much difference between pencil and a needle uh, once you get the hang of it it's all pretty much the same but when i'm doing my uh my script with my machines i'll do it the exact same way Uh, having graph paper does help out a lot. Um, it just helps you out keep it in, uh, keep it balanced and keep it proportion right. So, But just like I said, um, having the tattoo machine is the exact same way. Once you have that needle inside there, inside the, the barrel, uh, it's the, uh, the same way you're tattooing it. Um, what I would usually do if I'm tattooing it, I'll put on a little bit of uh, AED ointment. 
it helps me keep my needle straight so when you're doing this keep your legs straight keep it proportionized uh when i'm doing it with my machine i'll stretch out the skin and do a nice crisp line you don't want to you don't want to um, have broken lines. You don't want to stop and then continue the tattoo. That, that's a no-no. But that's for a different video, I think. But for right now, pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too fancy. Um, uh, I watched a couple of videos on YouTube. Um, I think uh, some people need to get a little too carried away or the writing's not um, thick, thin, or it's not balanced. It looks sloppy. Uh, for me, when you're doing writing, it needs to become a clean. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's simple or super advanced. It's all about uh, thick, thin, and balance. Those are the key words for when you're doing script. This is what helps me. So this is why I'm, I'm recommending you guys use scrap paper. There's nothing fancy. I didn't go out and buy anything or anything like that. I just use stuff that's around the house. Uh, my mom's scrap paper book and my little nephew's pencil. Um, but don't, when you're doing script, my advice to you is don't try to go too crazy. Don't try to jump 10 steps. Do it, try to do it as simple as possible. Start off with that. Get your get your base down first. And then you can little bit by little bit start going off and doing more fancier things and stuff like that. Um, that's the way I learned. Um, I, I tried, when I started doing script, I tried to uh, do really fancy or, or copy a lot of people or, or uh, try to copy this guy's style, this guy, and I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't able to develop my own style, my my own, my, my own flavor. So use it, use my my advice, use my script uh, as a base for yours. But you know, over time, you 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 can start doing your own flavor, adding your own little flavor to it and stuff like that, your own little twists, your own letters and stuff like that. But uh, the, your letters can be based off of mine. Uh, uh, I'm gonna end this video. I hope everything I did helped you guys out. Um, but stay tuned in.